Guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so we've done unboxing. Now what we're gonna do is take you through a relatively simple, straightforward setup of how the game gadget, A, comes preloaded with games, but B, how you can get extra games, ROMs, onto your system. Nice and simple, and it's straightforward. Okay guys, this bit is nice and straightforward. Uh, so what we need to do now is format our SD card. So it is an SD standard, it's not micro. Uh, and the nice thing is, um, it's dead easy to format the card. So you go to my computer, you go to the various options, and then you literally format. It will ask you, do you wish to do a full format or a quick? Don't tick the quick box, just go with full format. The disc is empty, because there's obviously nothing on there. If you do have an SD card that has something on, it will obviously erase that, okay? So it's really important if you format, it will absolutely wipe out anything that's on that card. But for your game gadget to work, you need to do it. So don't fool yourself and think that because the card's new, it doesn't need to be formatted. Whether it's new, old, whatever, just format that card first time and your game gadget will absolutely love you for it. Okay guys, so uh, this next piece here, you, I've gone into a, a folder that I've set up here, all right, and I've, I've named BIOS as one of the um, key folders. Now you can actually download the open source software or firmware that you need for your game gadget direct from gamegadget.net. Okay, so when you buy your game gadget, if you go straight to their website, there's a, a download option. Um, the program is called Sandbox. A little unusual, um, but that's what it's called. And you need to download that and get it onto your SD card. Again, really, really important that it's SD card. I've tried to put it on the internal memory. It rejects it. It needs to go onto the external card. So I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So we open it up. Uh, we then go into my computer because on my computer I have uh, the removable disk drive as an option. Okay, so I've just slot the card into my um into my laptop here. However, you might need to buy yourself a memory card reader, but again, they're freely available online. So as you can see, here's the D drive, nothing on there at all. Uh, here are the BIOS um, forms and the various different files, sorry, that we need. So I'm just gonna highlight them and I'm literally gonna drag and drop them across. So drag and drop onto the SD card now. That'll take a couple of minutes to complete. Make sure you do all of them. One of them there I didn't highlight, but I'm gonna come back for that one and pick it up. And as you can see here, it takes approximately two minutes to drag and drop those across. Okay guys, so we've transferred over BIOS, nice and simple. Um, now I've got a load of ROMs here, which are freely available online. And all I'm gonna do is just plant them onto my SD card so I can enjoy the gaming goodness uh, that the game gadget has to offer. So I'll go into Game Boy ROMs, uh, and there's some beautiful games in there. So I'm just gonna highlight all of those chaps. I'm then gonna go onto my um, SD card here. Uh, I'm gonna find, the Game Boy folder, which is here. And again, as per last time, I'm just gonna drag those little puppies right the way across and into the folder. Takes all but a few seconds. Then I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna do this drag and drop for every single title that I have. So I will go into Mega Drive ROMs, I will select them, and I will drag and drop those guys over. That's how simple it is. Okay guys, so, um, Key parts now, whilst I remember, um, to transfer over your ROMs onto your SD card. Anything that's Mega Drive has to be an SMD file, okay? So if you find a BIN file, you can either A, convert from BIN to SMD, it's a little bit tricky, but it can be done, or just go and hunt down the SMD file. So that's for Mega Drive Genesis games. The Sega Master System, the game gadget has an emulator which will play them, but within its BIOS, you need to create a folder. That might sound relatively tricky or quite difficult, but it's literally a right click within the BIOS on your, your system, and you simply just create a folder and call it Master System. Um, and then the kind of confusing part with the console, which actually caused me a little bit of stress, um, was actually working out how could I get the arcade games, the games I really wanted to play, Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Street Fighter, X-Men versus Street Fighter, how could I get those games to work? So there's a couple of different folders you have. MAME, some of you will be familiar with, doesn't work. Or well, it does, but it's very slow and it will annoy you. CPS1, CPS2, they're all Capcom formats. They're redundant, they don't work either. But the one that seems to work is Neo Geo. So save yourself some time, get everything that's arcade related straight into that Neo Geo folder. Because the Neo Geo folder is absolutely running perfect and it will give you the gaming goodness that I know you want, because I wanted it and I found it. But you need to make sure that you don't open it with WinRAR, 
do not unzip the file. Everything else needs to be unzipped, but when you get into the Neo Geo folder for the X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, UN Squadron, etc., you need to transfer that over, save it to your system, and then absolutely bundle it in that beautiful little purple bundle that it is. Transfer the entire thing zipped into your folder because your game gadget, it's quite cool, it will unzip it and format it and set it all up for you. Okay, so let's not mess about. We've unboxed, we've looked a bit at a laptop and I've told you about ROMs and things. This is where it's at. So SD card, this way up, gold pin showing. Slide him in. Um, he has got one of those push down mechanisms, which as you push him in, he kind of clips into place. Now this bit's really important, okay? This bit's key. Uh, you need to press and hold the A button while you switch him on. So you switch him on, pressing the A, that will allow you to access Sandbox, which is written here. So we've accessed it now, and now it will take you straight into um, exactly where your ROMs that we've just put onto the system. So I'm gonna peel off this, because this baby's ready to rock and roll. So here you are, you've got various different files and folders, etc. here. So we'll go straight into games. Arcade, nothing in there. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, we've, we've gone into the retro folder. Now, the nice thing is A will confirm and B will take you back. So if at any point here we want to come back and have a look, maybe Doomed, uh, maybe also look at what our, our last played game was, you can do that. Okay, so A, in, B, back. Simple, straightforward. So uh, Atari 2600, I can't lie to you, really struggled to find anything that was half decent. Uh, please drop a comment below if actually you disagree with me. There's a great Atari 2600 game I need to check out. But I'll be straight with you. I don't think there is. Uh, game Boy, however, plenty of great games. Um, on mine, I've only uploaded a few of the games. So there's a couple of class titles there that I absolutely love. Uh, so I've put them into my folder. Now, the Neo Geo that we talked about, that's got the main hub of my arcade classic games in there that I love. So we've got 1941, Alien vs. Uh, Predator, Captain Capcom... Um, we've just got loads of great games in here, guys. Final Fight, Ghouls and Ghosts, Giga Wing, Marvel Superheroes, to name a few. Then we go into the NES, and again into the NES folder. There's a whole plethora of different games here that are just fab. Come out from there into the Sega Master System. Again, similar variety. Into the Mega Drive, and again, similar variety. And then into the SNES similar variety. Now I'll warn you with the SNES, the SNES is the one emulator, it's the one folder that will cause you a few problems. So you might be thinking, great, Mario Kart, I can't wait. Well, I'm waiting for someone to find a good Mario Kart because the Mario Kart will not run on this emulator particularly well. It would appear that anything with mode seven makes it a bit tricky. I can't tell you why. Um, sadly, I'm not that efficient on it, but I can tell you there are certain titles that will or will not work in there and predominantly they are Mode 7 orientated. Anyway, we didn't come here for this. We like the unboxing, we like to know about ROMs, whatever, you've shown me a list of games. Let's just bloody play something, come on. So into Neo Geo, um, I'm gonna show you what Strider looks like. So I've just pressed A. Now, this is a nice thing. So those of you that are familiar with MAME, it goes through a similar process of setting itself up. Select is a credit. So I'll chuck a load of credits in, and then I'll just press start. Now you've got to love this. Um, volume on this, by the way, guys, is um, activated via the menu system. So there is no volume button around here. There's no volume button anywhere. So if it's too loud or too quiet, well, then you need to reset the game and go back into the main um, options, okay? So Strider, I... Uh I remember pulling a sickie uh, from school, which by the way I don't condone, however, let's not lie about it, it does happen from time to time. Uh, just so I can stay at home and play this on my Mega Drive. So the version that we're playing here is actually the arcade version, and again, it is absolutely stunning. It's a great game, they're in the process of doing a HD remix, uh, but in between that, this game here will just keep any Strider fan occupied. If you've never heard of Strider and you're thinking, I've never heard of Strider, what's it all about? Just soak it up. Get the game loaded up, enjoy it, and then try and convince me you haven't enjoyed it because it is absolutely fantastic. So that's Strider. Now, if I want to come out of Strider and I want to play something new, well, I have to turn off the console and I have to turn it back on again with the magical A button being pressed. Okay, so on switch down here, A button is where my big fat thumb is, and then Sandbox comes across here, okay? Then we go straight back into the menu. It approximately takes about 10, 12 seconds to boot up. So don't panic, it's not instant but you can go straight into your folder, straight back into retro, and then again, 
Neo Geo is where it's at for me, even though some of you will be thinking they're not Neo Geo games, but remember, it's not about the game being a Neo Geo game, but it's where you need to put the majority of your arcade classic games into. So, for you fight fans, uh, let's find an Ultimate Fighter, which is X-Men versus Street Fighter. Again, it will load up, so it's got a nice load-up bar here, very similar to MAME, for those of you that got MAME cabs. And the same process, select button is going to put a coin in. So, come on, here it goes, X-Men versus... And again, so there's our load up screen, select button. But just look, I hope that's coming out well on camcorder because, you know, I haven't got my glasses on today, but it's just looking juicy. I'm really pleased with the way that's looking. Choose your characters, Ryu uh, and Wolverine. Good combination. Uh, they've served me well throughout life. I'll go on the turbo version. So this game is a classic here. If you were going to play this uh, through MAME, you would find that actually the MAME emulator folder, it would be absolutely dire. It would be super slow, and you wouldn't be very happy with it in any way, shape, or form. However, on this folder, as you can see here, uh, Rogue is enjoying a slight whooping. And that is it, guys. It's as simple as that. So that's been the game gadget. That's been X-Men vs. Street Fighter. If you've got any questions, any queries, please fire ahead. I can't promise that I'll be able to answer them. But guys, it's a cracking bit of kit. For the price, for the money, and for the value, I think you're going to enjoy every single minute of it. Yeah, I didn't get so well.